Why, hello, hello, and welcome to a Napoleon Total War replay. Um, in this game, I'm playing on Syrian Ridge against uh, my opponent, KSB123. And he was the host here. Um, in fact, I'm going to kind of slow mo it for a sec while I go over a few things. Um, he was the host here. He did uh, slightly unusual rules, no art, and only four light. And curiously, he wanted to play Prussia. He played Prussia. I figure, you know, if we're doing minimal, fewer lights, I'll play France. I considered only bringing three, brought four of the volts instead. Um, for their price, they're a pretty good unit. Um, so, first of all, trying to do a few more close-ups here, given that I, uh, I have, people have asked for it even before I got this new computer with good settings and all that. Um, anyway, so here I'm playing. I've got my three old guard. I've got two militia. I've got four volts, as I said, and a national guard with them. I've got uh, one, two, I think I got five shooter cav. Yeah, five shooter cav. And uh, then four Swiss foot. My opponent, meanwhile, let's go take a look at him. So Syrian Ridge, of course, the main thing here is this thing in the center, the big ridge. And I just start, you know, pushing my cav toward it. Um, I let them run some, but I'm having most of my army walk. As you see, he his guys are running, and they're already winded getting here. Um, he's got, you know, a pretty uh, expected Prussian army in most ways, except for, you know, four lights instead of five. They each got a tick of experience. He's got Cuirassier and uh, Hussars here, and same thing on this side. That, I think, is not the best idea. He should have brought uh, Lancers instead. The Prussian Lancers are pretty inexpensive, and they're, they're not bad. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine musketeers and the eighth life regiment. So a total of ten infantry. He has a lot more like line infantry than I do, though I've got guards. And I think um that's kind of I when I get to it, I'm gonna kind of bring up something interesting about why that's he doesn't play that very well. So here, yeah, my goal, I want to get my shooter cab up on the hill to take it early. And the thing is, so he run, ran all his guys to right here, right? And they're already winded. Some of them are tired. Um, the, the, uh, the thing is, uh, I guess his, his lights are, are not too bad off. The thing is, like, you get tired quickly on this map, right? Because it's like a desert. Even my gun cav are pretty winded, but that's okay. They've taken this hill. But he got it. So if you're going to run, you need to take the hill, right? So here, I start running my guys a bit to reinforce. And my plan here is I'm going to kind of get up on here and attack on this side. And I see he's running a whole bunch of guys. Oh, see, they're tired, tired, tired. He's going to make a big flanking maneuver here. So I just think, okay, well... That's not too bad. I can kind of use these trees for cover and hold off pretty well. Let him have that hill. I'll take this one and try to just kind of destroy in detail. Um, so here I'm kind of pushing up. Um, I make a bit of a mistake here, you'll see. And he makes a good play. So he starts, let's slow motion this because there's a few, a few things going on here. Charges up here with his cav. And I, that's the one that I see first. So I'm like, oh, cool. And after I get a shot off on him, I'm like, I'll charge downhill um, at him, even though he's heavy cav against my shooter cav. But this guy ninjas around here into my lights. Um, I probably shouldn't have charged both cav. Um, the second one's kind of redundant. And at this point, I think, is when I see this. Maybe right around now. Yeah, so I, I pull, so when I, I pull these guys back, thinking, oh, right, I don't need to do it. And I notice this. So I turn them around and get some shots off on him. Not very good ones. So I decide to start trying to run these guys here, bring these uh, fresh gun cav in from one side, and my other ones charge down the hill at him. And that's the thing. So that was a good move, but he didn't back it up with anything. And see, so he tried to push into here. But then he backs off, runs some more, and they're tired. Meanwhile, I'm bringing my old guard up, who are only winded. I've mostly walked them. I've turned these Swiss foot to help push off the, the cav. Let's see them get some good shots here. Good job, guys. Good, good help. 
And now, like, his other cab are running. And I just need to reorganize a bit. My, my volts are... I mean, he took out, like, half my volts. But it cost him a cav. And he did some casualties to my cav. But not very many. And again, it cost him another heavy cav. That's an expensive unit. So in here, those guys are tired. Those guys are winded. But... He's done a whole bunch of run he does a whole bunch of running and pausing. So here I'm like, okay, come at me, bro. I'll just hide in these woods. And he should come at me. He should put these guys into skirmish formation and start shooting down at me. Okay, I have cover, but he has these really good Prussian fusiliers he's not really using. And he's got two over here that again they're tired and he's not really using them. So what I do is I'm kind of like reforming up my guys. I'm bringing more of my Swiss foot here so that if he does come down here, I can stand a little bit longer. But he instead decides to run these guys way around. And that's kind of going to be a, a thing that's relevant later. And I don't, I don't handle everything perfectly. But okay, so here, doing a light on light battle, that's not really going to be my forte. I should even have considered just dropping stakes here. Um, to make it, like, cover, you know, so it's not gonna, not much is gonna happen. But, eh, I just, I figure, eh, I'd rather get some damage in against him. I have the high ground here. Um, so this is pretty good, right? Like, I'm shooting down. And here, I start trying to, I, I do a little bit of running with my old guard unit. I say old guard unit, that's my old guard plus my militia. And I think, okay, I'll get them into a good position. And here, he decides to charge his cav. That's not a good idea. They're not really supported by infantry. And now, like, these old guard are in position. They'll be able to shoot. I do a little counter charge on my chasseurs of cheval. Shouldn't have done that. And pull them back. Um, that's fine. And here, you can see I'm just bringing more guys up. Bringing my, some of my Swiss foot up. Because I see he's going way around here. And I think, okay gonna be a while before they are a problem it's like okay big picture stuff here right big picture he's got a big force here he's got a you know medium-sized force here and a medium-sized force here but i've just got a big force here so i think okay you can run your guys way around uh you get see charging those guys ends up being a mistake but i'm like okay i'll really kind of push up here bring up my my lights where they can hopefully get some be some help and now, like, I'm going to push my old guard up to where they can... I should have done this faster. My militia takes more damage than they need to. That's fine, though. Like, a bunch of my guys are pushing up through the woods. And here, I'm like, okay, I'll just kind of form a line this way. And I think what I decide I'm going to do here... That's something that I should have maybe stuck with since I'm... Only bringing three guys. I don't know if I'm doing it yet. Okay, no, I'm not doing it yet. But at one point, I decide I'll get them on the reverse side of a hill and just basically make it a null. What I should have really done is gotten on the reverse of this hill and been like, okay, whatever, come at me. So that I push them like, eh. Anyway, I'm going to kind of go over the interesting part. Yeah, my old guard are, are now firing on his 8th Life Regiment and his lights. And a bunch of them are here in the in the woods with nice cover and see i'm bringing a bunch of my cab around this way i accidentally order some of these swiss foot that way too i think i did a mistake in my control stuff they're walking though so not a big deal but eventually i realize it and fix it so here yeah you can see i'm doing a cab charge um while he's focusing on moving his guys around even if he had gotten the square, I'd be okay with that. That means my old guard would just be able to shoot him super well. Um, and here, yeah, I'm still just, you know, I'm having my, my lights shoot. My National Guard's not really in the best spot. And here, he has an opportunity. Um, I probably should have kept one of my Swiss foot right here to guard this. And he just runs up his musketeers. Um... I lose my cav there, but that's okay. Um, well, it's not okay. I, I should have been better about preserving my cav. But yeah, here I form a line. And I should have formed it further back here on the 
reverse of this hill. Um, so I don't have to really fight these cab charge through to finish the job that the other one didn't. And here, and he should be pushing my old guard up faster. Um, here, you see, I have my National Guard. I have them have to hold this flank against two musketeers, which obviously isn't going to work. So here, I bring these Swiss foot. I run them um, from over here, which, you know, weakens this. But he sees what's going on, so he decides to charge my National Guard. Not much I can do to prevent that, so I think at the last second, do I count? No, I don't actually get the counter charge off. And that's just, that's something he's going to win for sure. And here, I'm doing the wrong thing. And I think in the end, I just end up, do I counter charge? Nope, he gets that. But that leaves him open to, you know, so I bring in my, uh, my gun cav. Now he's kiting away here. I really need to, these old guard are firing, but these ones aren't, you know. I just need to push up. Um, these ones are, but these guys aren't. I should push them right here. But I don't do that. And here, so he's got, I think, the fact that he has these two. I, I don't take this force seriously enough. And ultimately, these guys are supposed to be a delaying thing. So what I really need to do is retreat them further back. Get them, like, behind this hill. So that his, his lights can't really shoot them from a distance. Um, he routes my my Swiss foot, but I've charged my cab in while he's in melee, so he can't form square. And that works pretty well. Um, and he routes my National Guard, I think. No, they're still fighting. So, you know, I, I try to keep him from... I'm hoping to shatter him here. And then because his friendly guys are running, these guys run too. And what I really need to do is just... These musketeers being here, they form square. What I should have done is come around this way and, uh, and charge these routing guys. Instead, I try to, to keep on with these, and for, for some reason the cab don't really engage properly on him. And uh, I don't know. I, I have him ordered a charge here, but see, he does this weird thing. I think it's because they're tired, maybe? And they're just walking, basically. I should have just ran them around here. See, all these running gu running guys come back, so now it's too late. What I really need to do here is I'm thinking, oh, I'll get my militia up. I really just need to be pushing harder. Now they're very tired. So yeah, here I do fall back a little bit, take cover behind these trees. Take cover. So I do this, but then I change my mind, I think, and end up engaging. What I should do is just hold here. And get one point, my thought is, oh, they're exhausted. I should engage them before he can rest them. Here, I end up pushing up, and he just... It's not much interesting for a little while. Treat my chasseurs. These chasseurs. And he's just running way back here. So I kind of waffle a little bit. But yeah, here, you see, I push up and I think, oh... I'll bring up my line and my my cab, and I'll be able to to beat this. But yeah, I mess up there. Lose those cav. Lose those cav. And I think, oh, but that's okay because these are now shooting the lights. But he moves up. As, if I would have waited a little bit till he was already doing this, where his line were firing, that charge would have worked really well. Um. And even still, like at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I've got my Swiss foot shooting his musketeers. If I just bring my general in here, I should be able to win this without too much problem. All right. Um, but that doesn't work out as well as I think it will. And I think, oh, I'll just bring my reinforcements here. But this is where waffling can really get you. Like, if I had just committed to this, and then I'm like, oh, I don't need all of them. I'll just bring like one guy to help as reserves. Should I just committed to it? Instead, I'm like, oh, I'll send these guys after here. The whole thing when you have your enemy divided, you want to take them on one at a time. But yeah, see, he ends up wiping those, and I'm like, oh, I'll form a new line here. And his fusiliers come back. And I just, now I'm fighting three versus two. 
I'm like, okay, I'm gonna bring my general. I'm just gonna go back to have them hold off those guys and wipe off, wipe out this army. But he keeps running to the uh, to the corner here, and I use up my ammo, so I just try to get in with bayonets. But he wipes off my holding thing. That's not too bad though, because uh, I I mean ultimately here like I just need to keep pushing, and my guys are I have a bunch of them. I still have them walking for the most part. They're starting to tire out anyway, just from the environment. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna camp in the corner here, and I try to kind of chase him in a way that doesn't give him the option of running along this way when I catch up. And here, since he's routed my flank, I'm like, oh, I'll have these guys kind of hold, these two old guard hold off, stop him from coming in here. Really what I probably should have done is just had one hold here. And had kind of done, then alert what I'm doing right now, but, or, you know, not even done that. Just been like, well, it's going to take him a while to get into place. They're exhausted. I should just crush these. But ultimately, the rest of this battle's not interesting. I'm going to keep it in. The interesting part already happened. I'm going to kind of start going over, you know, the main thing. So the main theater of the battlefield is right here. You can see all these dead people. And this is where he should have committed his guys, right? But instead, like, he sends them way around here... I'm like, yeah, he wins on the flank, but here, I just kind of hide these old guard in the woods. He can skirmish me a bit, but it's not going to get a lot of hits. You know, he doesn't have very good shots here. But I let him do that while I just charge in my old guard now that they've used up all their stuff. Shoot up with these guys. His guys are scared of the old guard. His guys are scared of the old guard. Like, good game, KSV, but if you ever end up watching this, which I'm guessing you, I don't know if you ever will, but you need to get all your guys into the same fight. Like, you can't really, you know, try to do this grand flaking maneuver, especially on a map where your guys tire really easily, because they won't be in a position to matter. Like, if you would have just contested me for the hill... Or, like, use that other side of the hill, gotten your lights there, and tried to skirmish across that little lake in the middle. You know, the fact that I took the hill first wouldn't have been a huge deal. But, unfortunately, you know, you just let me kind of defeat you in detail. Either way, you know, good game. It was, it was an interesting strategy, and it wasn't, like, you weren't... It wasn't a bad game. Uh, you know, we were reasonably close like i ended up only killing a few more of your guys when you killed a mine i just did it in the place that mattered first so good game ksb 123